Welcome to our course, Activation Function. So Activation Function is very important in your study of neural network, and it's also one of the concepts that you have to understand when you study deep learning. So what is an Activation Function? Activation Function actually decides, so the term there is decide, and what does this one decide? It decides whether a certain neuron should be activated or not. What does this mean? So it means to say that it will decide whether the neuron's input, okay, the neuron's input to the network is important or it is not important. So meaning to say when that particular input is important, then it will be activated and it's going to move on to the, to the next layer of and if it is not important, so it's um, zero, for example, or it is less than zero, then that means it will not be activated. Or in other words, it will be deactivated. So there are a lot of activation functions when we talk about neural network. And in this lesson, we're going to study binary step function. So binary step function is actually a basic activation function in neural network. So just by the word binary, I think this one gives you the clue what this one is all about. So binary step function, it actually involves two things. It can be false. It can be true. So it is false when a certain condition is met, or sorry, is not met. And it is true when a certain condition is met. So what is this condition all about? This condition something to do with threshold okay threshold that means when a certain threshold is met then that particular neuron will be activated and when it is not met then that particular neuron will be deactivated meaning to say that a certain neuron will not pass to the next layer of the network so mathematically how do we express binary step function in numbers or, or, or in formulas so we have here the function of x is equal to 0 or 1 and if 0 for x is less than 0 and 1 for x is equal to or greater than 0. So this is just actually a basic mathematical formula for binary step function which means to say that it is 0 or it is false or it is null when a particular condition is less than 0 and it is 1 or true or yes when a particular condition is greater than or equal to zero. So I want to ask you this question. In this case, what is our threshold? Do you have the answer right now? So the threshold here actually is zero, which means to say that when the value is zero, then that particular neuron will be activated. When its value is um, or greater than zero, then it will also be activated. And when the value is less than zero, then that particular neuron will be deactivated. But the story of binary step function is not actually paved with um, roses because it also has its own limitations. And what are these limitations? Since we only have binary values in this case, so it means to say that we can never provide multi-value multi, multi -value outputs. So multi-value outputs, it means um, at least three. So again, it's because we only have binary values to consider. Multi-value, at least three, is not processed or cannot be provided by our binary step function. So which means to say that binary step function cannot be used for multi-class classification problems. Another thing is that the gradient of the step function is zero. Let me give number one here and number two. Again, the gradient of the step function is zero. And because the value is zero, it causes a hindrance. There's actually a problem in the back propagation process. Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free, like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.